Hi, and welcome to Getting Started with Surpass Cloud. My name is Lisa, and I'm a Library Automation Advisor here at Surpass Software. There's a lot to think about when using a new library software package, and this video is intended to give you a few hints as to what you might do in order to get started with Surpass Cloud. Some things to think about, such as barcodes, patron types, circulation rules. If you want detailed tutorials about any of these subjects, please check out our YouTube channel, where we have a growing library of tutorial videos. Let's get started. One of the first things you will want to do when starting to use Surpass Cloud is to identify what categories you will want to use for different types of materials, such as paperbacks, board books, and equipment. Your Surpass Cloud database will include some categories, such as regular or reference. You can edit categories, or you can create categories to meet your library's needs. Categories are used to create different circulation rules for different types of resources. They can also be used to tell patrons what section of the library items can be found in. In Surpass Cloud, cataloging templates are tied to categories. Templates for different categories can be set up so that the necessary fields for the type of item are present, such as a number of pages for a book, or the runtime of a Blu-ray. Call numbers help patrons and staff find items on the shelves. Many libraries use the Dewey Decimal System, which is familiar to school and public library users. Others, such as college and university libraries, use the Library of Congress classification system. For fiction, many libraries choose to use FIC or F, followed by the author's last name or the first three letters of the last name. Surpass Cloud can take Dewey or LC call number information from a MARC record when copy cataloging and copy it to your library's holdings information. If you want to edit a call number or add one of your own, you can always edit the call number in the holdings field. You will need to decide what type of barcodes you will use in your Surpass Cloud database before it is built. Legacy or Codabar can be used in Surpass Cloud. If you have barcodes already from another library system, contact us to see if they are compatible with Surpass. Legacy barcodes are shorter and easy to use, but you may want Codabar if you need more information in the barcode, such as which location an item belongs to in a multi-location library. Are you planning to print your own labels or order pre-processed books or pre-printed barcodes? Will patrons have library cards? With a standard office laser printer, you can print your own barcode and spine labels. If you choose to issue patron cards, you can print those as well.
To see what labels and cards Cloud supports, click the Help button or contact support before you order. Another thing to consider is what types of patrons you will have in your library. Depending on what type of library you have, Surpass Cloud will come with pre-built patron types. For example, a school library will have grade levels. Patron types and roles work together to determine what a user can and cannot do in Surpass Cloud. You can edit existing patron types, or you can create new ones. Patron types can be set to allow checkouts or not, and to limit the number of items checked out at one time. Different patron types can be created for staff and then tied to patron roles that have different permissions. Patron types also work with circulation rules to control who can check different types of items out and for how long. You can make sure that patrons and staff are able to access only the areas and functions that they need to by setting up roles and assigning default roles to patron types. Different roles have different permissions. For example, patrons cannot access the admin module at all. On the other hand, admin users can access any part of the admin module. As with patron types, there are pre-configured roles in your database, depending on what type of library you have. These can be edited, or new ones can be created, to give users access to do what they need to do. The only exception is the admin role, which can't be edited or deleted. You can have multiple admins at your library. Circulation rules are important because they tell Surpass what can be checked out, who can check it out, and for how long. They also determine if and how many times an item can be renewed, if there are fines for late items, and if there is a grace period before fines start being charged. You will start with one rule where everything can be checked out to everyone. Then, you make exceptions to that rule. For example, all items can be checked out for 14 days, except for reference, which can't be checked out. Unless the person checking it out has the staff patron type. You can create new rules as needed, if a rule isn't working the way you expected it to, you can edit it or delete it, adjusting it to fit your needs. Deciding what days you will be closed 
and putting them on the calendar is very important because resources won't be due on those dates and if you collect fines they won't be assessed on closed days. You can also set a final due date if you want all materials returned by a particular date. This is useful for the end of the school term, for example, or for inventory purposes. Deciding what cataloging standards you will use at your library and making sure that everybody follows the same set of rules is very important which is why you need a style guide. Will you use formal cataloging standards, like the AACR2 and Library of Congress subject headings? Or will you create a system that is unique to your library? Whatever you decide, consistency is key. Using the same keywords and subjects, standardized spellings, and choosing the same fields to enter information in is important so that Surpass can find the information and include items in search results. Writing it down for reference will help everybody be on the same page. I hope that this video has given you some useful tips on how you can get started with Surpass Cloud. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our tutorials. The Getting Started playlist has videos that cover some of the topics covered in this video. Remember, you can always contact support with questions or click the help button to go to the online manual. Thank you for watching and have a great day.